starting with the great name of Allah, the most gracious and the most merciful. Myself at the Shama Meet and welcome to my YouTube channel Computernetic Zone for another exciting lecture. In today's lecture, I will be discussing about important communication devices in computer networks and that is uh, you know router switch and hub so before discussing these uh, important concepts or important communication devices uh, we must know that what actually is a communication device in computer network so the computer electronic device uh, that is used to send our data send or receive data uh, on the network is called communication devices so a communication device is uh, an electronic device that is used to send or receive data in uh, you know in any of uh, computer networks so this is called a communication device so we have uh, three important communication devices that we are discussing today uh, these are uh, router switch and hub so let's get further on our main topic so router Router is an intelligent hardware device that is designed to receive, analyze, and move incoming packets through another network. A simple, in a simple, plain definition, is that the router is used to connect to network. Fine. Router is used to connect to different networks. A device, a hardware device that connects two different networks is called router. So it's a basic, uh, by the way, uh, intelligent device. So let's take an example here. You can see these. This is a network one, and I'm using hub. So and here I'm using switch. So the difference between hub and um, switch will be our next topic. So this is a network one, fine. So this is a sender, and in between them there is a hub device, communication device, and three computers are connected. Three devices are connected. So first network consists of four systems, and there is a hub, and this is a second network. Here, and there's a second network which is consists of four systems and a switch. Fine. So this is a network number one, and this is a network two. So this is a different. Both are both these are different networks. So if we want to connect these two networks, this is network one, this is network two, and we want to connect it, to connect together. So this is where we use router so router here you can see here in this here this basically connects with two networks so if you want to have a communication between two networks then the router will play its important role so what we have discussed is that um, that router is an intelligent device that is used to uh, connect uh, used for a communication between two uh, different networks so what is a switch switch is an intelligent communication device fine and which is used to connect computers to the same networks and it uses a mac address uh, which is called media access control uh, which is a physical address of the device and it operates on data link layer so you must know the you know osi layers um, that we have seven osi layers and whereas the switches operate on data link layer so this is a, one of the most important objectives uh, that me ask uh, examiner ask you that uh, where switch is operated so you, you can say that it is operated on data link layer so it's suppose unicast one to one communication it, it use a multicast that is one to many communication and it's also uh, you know supports broadcast communication as well so one to all communication as well so switch basically supports um, a one to one or one to many or a broadcast uh, communication so you can see here it it uses a full duplex mode so what actually is a full duplex uh, 
concept. You may have heard simplex, half duplex, and a full duplex. A full duplex means that data will move in two directions. Fine. And so data will move in a two directions and they can be an input and output uh, from both sides at the same time. So if your data travels from, uh, you know, from two different locations and they can, um, and the response can be, uh, you know, can come from two uh, sides. So this is called uh, full duplex. You can see uh, if person A is uh, calling someone uh, through your smartphone uh, to person B. So both these two listen, you know, they send data and they can listen at the same time. Suppose A send data and B is listening. So B can send data and A, A, A can listen too. So two devices, if they can listen together, if they can send the data together, this is called full duplex mode. So in uh, half duplex mode, one can send and other can receive only at the, end of one, at the same time. One can send, so this is an example that is walkie talkie. In walkie talkie, if someone say, uh, send message and at the end it says over. So once it's, it will say over, then other person will uh, respond. So you cannot respond at the same time in, uh, two people cannot respond at the same time uh, in half duplex, fine. In a full duplex, both sender and receiver can send data and can listen and can uh, provide a feedback at the same time. So switches use 20 to 4 to 28 ports. Uh, this is a you know basic information of the switch. Now let's back to the concept. Suppose that this is a device A, fine, and this is a device D. If A wants to send data to device D. A is a or we can say that this is a device so, so, so for understanding this is a device fine this is a device this device wants to send data to device D so this is a sender and this is a receiver fine if sender will receive data through a switch fine if this will send device to this device data then it will send the message that okay this is my message it will send the message to a switch yeah, okay this is a message and you will have to send to a device D only so this is why switch is called intelligent device because it knows it has stored the MAC addresses of these um, four uh, devices so switches have MAC addresses of all the devices that are connected to a switch fine so MAC addresses is your physical address, like a phys your address, your home address, your permanent address, your current address. Uh, fine. So your uh, this is called a physical address of the device. So it uses a MAC, uh, you know, MAC addresses of all devices. If this sender sends data to sender D, what will happen? It message will come here, and the switch knows the MAC address of um, device D. It will send message to the a device D only and it will, it will not send to device A, B or C. So this is where the switches are important. So it is an intelligent device. If you are sending to, to one specific data to one specific device, it will send, it will be sent to the, uh, you know, to that device only instead of all devices. So what is a hub? Hub is, you know, is an opposite of switch. Switch is an intelligent device. Hub is an unintelligent device and it works on a physical layer and that device switch works on a data link layer it uses a broadcast uh, type message uh, fine it has maximum four ports and it uses a half duplex like i said before half duplex in a half duplex communication or transmission um, you know you can send data but cannot if you it is a two-way communication half duplex is a two-way communication one can send and other will receive fine if you are uh, sending a message on a walkie talkie you, you will say over when you say over then other will respond fine so if you not say over then other, other cannot respond so one can send other can receive so this is a concept of half duplex uh, transmission mode 
Now this is a hub you can see here. There are three devices that are connected to uh, the hub. Suppose that this is a device that wants to send a message to device four. Okay, this uh, this system, this PC. So what will happen that uh, PC four it will send it wants to send it to PC four. So what will happen? It will, this message is sent from hello. This message is sent suppose hello message. Uh, I want to connect uh, to PC four. So what will happen that on that uh, device one message will be sent to the hub. Then hub will broadcast message to all devices. The message was supposed to be sent to device four only, but hub will you know broadcast message to all connected devices in this case the message of the pc1 that was supposed for to be sent to the device 4 only but it will be sent to pc2 and pc4 simultaneously so this is where hub broadcast messages then pc2 will say oh i do not require that um, no i don't know about pc1 why it has sent me data so it will it will be sent back and then pc4 will say okay fine so this is where uh, hub is not recommended <clears throat> hub is not recommended because it will broadcast message to all devices instead of sending to a specific device fine whereas the switch will send message to the uh, specific device only so if you want to uh, this is where uh, now nowadays switches are very much common and hub, hub are not used in uh, computer uh, networks so if you want to connect uh, you know um, if you want to connect two different networks you will use router and switch is an intelligent device that will send messages uh, to the specific device only whereas a hub will broadcast message to the all uh, connected, connected uh, devices so this is where the hub is uh, n not recommended and the switch is uh, nowadays uh, highly recommended for uh, the computer network uh, communication so that's all for today if you like this video you can share it if you have any questions you can ask in the comment section i will definitely respond there and if you haven't subscribed to my channel you can subscribe it click on the bell icon so that you can get more videos um, if, thank you and have a great day